so many times I hear in the lessons that I'm giving on a daily basis that people are really happy with the way they're hitting their irons, really happy with the way they're hitting the hybrid clubs. But as the club gets longer, much more towards the driver, they really start to struggle. They feel the driver's too long, too cumbersome. It looks too awkward, looks too difficult, and they don't hit the ball very well. Well, how about this? How about we take the hybrid club that you're quite comfortable with, you're quite happy hitting, and we just make it into a driver. We make the shaft a little bit longer. We make the head a little bit bigger. And that's exactly what Thomas Golf have done with their new range of hybrid drivers. This is the AT705, which is a classical looking pear-shaped hybrid golf club. In fact, I've got their three hybrid golf club right here for comparison. And if we look at the way they've expanded the technology into the driver, you can see that, yes, it's slightly longer. Yes, the club head is slightly bigger and it has less loft. This one has 10 and a half degrees of loft on the uh, on the driver head there. But basically it's taking the, the thing that works so nicely for you with the hybrid golf club. The weight is low and deep. It hits the ball nice and high in the air. The club head doesn't look too cumbersome and they've just extended it outwards into a driver. So if I go ahead and set up, and I'll show you how I'd like you to set up with your uh, Thomas Golf hybrid driver as well. You take the ball so it sits just slightly back from a normal driver position, just an inch behind its normal driver position. So maybe setting up a bit like a three wood. You play the ball on a tee peg that's slightly lower than a classical driver tee peg. The head isn't quite as deep or quite as cumbersome as a normal driver. So we tee the ball so half the ball sits above the top of the club face. You'll also notice when you look down at the club face that it's got the classic Thomas Golf patented alignment line on top. So it sits really nicely behind the golf ball. I point my alignment line really simply exactly where I want the ball to go. Bring the ball position just so it's an inch from my instep there normal setup position and just make my normal swing. I think the key to this is not to try and manufacture a particularly different or awkward swing, but just go ahead and make the normal long smooth swing that you would make with your long irons or make with your hybrid cl golf clubs and just trust that the technology packed into the head is gonna work well for you. The shaft shouldn't feel too long, the club head shouldn't look too different and you should be able to sweep the golf ball nicely up into the air. It's a beautiful crack off the club face and that's got a very nice high flight. One thing I really found enjoyable about using this golf club, a little bit of experimentation I did with it, is I can actually hit this really quite nicely straight from the floor. It almost works well like a really strong three wood. So playing on a long par four where I'm a long way back from the green or a, or a long five where I want to hit a good second shot up there, it actually does work very nicely off the floor. Much better than a normal driver would be from the floor. And this is mainly because the, the weight of the golf club is all positioned low and deep. So all the weight's down here, low and deep. That helps get underneath the ball and pop it up into the air. You might feel that it's a golf shot that's suitable more for the better players, but if you're confident that you can hit something nice and long off the floor, you play the hybrid without a tee peg, you play it a couple of inches back from your left instep this time, play it more like a long iron, and just sweep it nicely straight from the deck. And it comes out with a really nice low penetrating trajectory. If I'm really honest with you, I did catch that a little bit too low off the bottom of the golf club, but it still picks the ball up really nicely and flies beautifully. And one of the things you'll notice about this golf club is just the forgiveness it gives you. Hit it pretty much anywhere on the golf club face and it will come back to the center and fly very nicely. So the one I had here was the 705, which is the pear-shaped, more sort of traditionally designed head. And what I've got here is the 725, which is a slightly square club head. So when we look at this, it's got a square top on it and a square back. The performance difference is not really that much, actually. They both fly the same. You can both play them in the same fashion as I previously described. I think the biggest difference here is just the personal preference over the appearance, that when you look down on the golf club head, some people will prefer the square or sort of more boxy look. It might help them align better. Other people, if you're happy with a more traditionally shaped back to the, uh, to the normal hybrid clubs, then the 705 is probably the one for yourself. But what I would suggest you do is, uh, is, is have a consideration about how happy you are with your hybrids and how dissatisfied you might be feeling uncomfortable with a driver and consider one of these hybrid drivers.